Okay, friends. Good morning. How you doing? Um, this is another video about languages. I'm doing a series right now on linguistics, just like a basic introduction, introductory stuff. Okay, because I really like linguistics, and also really like languages and language learning. Okay. Um, this this topic of this video is about phonetics and phonology. Okay. Now, basically, the question is here's 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 an overview of what I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about what is phonetics. I'm talk about speech sounds talk about places and manners of articulation, give like an overview of some of the anatomy of the, of the speech tract, okay? You know, from like, from, from an IPA perspective and perspective of the world's languages, not just English. And we're moving to a little bit of um, phon phonology and, and basically talk about how speech sounds interacts. Okay, that's it. So, like what is phonology? Phonology is, it's just, it's not really like, the study of more like the description of the speech tract, which is what like the lips, the teeth, the tongue, the palate, all this stuff, and basically like your mouth and back into the the throat, and how speech sounds are made. Okay, so what are speech sounds? All right, everyone knows the alphabet, right? A B C D E F G. Okay, and but you know, so there's a difference between like the alphabet and spelling and the actual sounds that are used to make language to like put together, you know, to make morphemes and words, which we talked about last time. Um, so the point is, in, in I'm using English as an example because every because most you know if you're listening to my videos, you're speaking English or you're understanding it, okay? And you know, okay. So English, what is the alphabet has like 26 letters or something, but how many vowels does it have? It's only got five vowel letters, okay? Or they call them graphemes, okay? But in the English spoken language, there's like seven vowels, depending on your dialect and depending on the allophones, right? Um, and we can talk about phonemes and allophones and the phonetics part, which might be another video depending on time, okay? So here's the point okay there's like a number of vowel and consonant sounds that are not letters right that are used to make speech so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the um, base of the speech sounds okay start with your lips what what do you make your lips B P M okay those are the English bilabial sounds. How do you make them? Your lower lip touches your upper lip and you make some type of sound such as a nasal mm, mama b peter right? Those are sounds using your lips. Okay, What else can we do? Oh, let's take our bottom lip and then make it touch our upper teeth. Friend victory V. Okay. Those are called labial dental sounds because your bottom lip touches your upper teeth. Okay. I'm just going to use these two examples, but there's a bunch of other stuff. Because you've got your palate, you've got T and S. You've also got K's and G's. And you've got W's. And then in other languages, you have K and R. And K and R. You also have, uh, what else do you have? A lot of speech sounds. That's getting back to your uvular. And then you want to go back down further. You have your, like, your epiglottis, like, Arabic, al, ah, ah, and you have the Alhamdulillah, Muhammad, right? And then you have the English H, like he, and whatever, hit. Okay, then you have the glottal stop, like Batman. <laughs> okay, this is basically like a trip down your vocal tract. Okay, right? the thing is, you have all these areas, and also you can do different things with these areas. The areas themselves all are called places of articulation. But you have to be careful because for a place you usually need two things. I said bottom lip to upper lip or bottom lip to upper teeth or tongue to palate or tongue to velum, right? So just be careful when you say tongue, that's not a place. You have to go where on the tongue and where does the tongue touch, right? So that's something to keep in mind. All right, four minutes. Additionally, we have manner of articulation. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use 
Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use the, the palette. All right, what's the palette? Just uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use alveolar root. These are gonna be alveolar sounds in English. All right, T, ta, like, ta, 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 and look at sa, sa. Think about what your tongue does when you go ta, ta, and when you go sa, sa. Your tongue is touching the same place in your mouth. If I say what's the difference between a T and a D, and you tell me my tongue's in a different spot. That's not right, okay? Um, oh, so I don't want to sneeze. Oh, sneezing. So, yeah, um, okay, so T's and S's. What's the difference between a T's and an S? A T, your tongue touches and releases. It's called a stop, or a T, or a B, or a K. You touch and you release. They're called a stop consonant, or even a plosive consonant, okay? Um, yeah, but now an S, you can make an S all day long, but you can't do it with a T, because an S is called a fricative consonant. So we have stop consonants, fricative consonants, what about a CH? A CH is an affricate consonant. It's like a mix between a T and a SH. Look at the IPA, it's very enlightening on the way that is represented graphically. Okay. Um Yeah, six minute video. Okay, we're just getting started here. We're just getting started with the sounds. I want to keep on trucking with these sounds, okay? These are we've already talked about places of articulation, remember? All the way down the throat. Okay. The manners of articulation are stops, T, fricatives, S, affricates, ch, okay. What else do we have as far as manner of articulation? Not much, unless you want to look at the clicking sounds. A na na na, a ni ni, a no o, a pi a ko o. Okay? So, click sounds are, are cool. They are actually, I forget, I'm honest with you, I forget, I forget the technical term for it, but it's a click sound and something very special. Additionally, we have tuoleti, okay? Ta, ti, ko. Those are ejective sounds, okay, or pl uh, yeah, ejective sounds or glottalized consonants. Okay, you want to find glottalized consonants, you got to go to the caucus region, or you can go to, I believe, the northwest coast of America and Canada. Okay, some of these languages which are interesting, and they're not. Some of them are. Pro I don't think they're not any languages. It's a different language family. It's interesting though. British Columbia and Washington State. Okay. Um, we want to find click sounds. You got to go into Africa, basically in southern Africa, the Khoisan languages. Okay. Um, what else do we have? That's pretty much all of the manners. Now, the, additionally, yeah, you talk about lung. Like, are you? I'm not going to get into the more details. Like, what I told you is pretty much what you're going to find, okay, in any standard uh, phonology textbook. Um, yeah. Okay, this video is going to stop right now. Just a quick review. I want to review. We talked about place of articulation, remember? Place of articulation, all the way back. And manner of articulation, as far as f, p, b, t, ch, a. Okay. Um, and then we also talked a little bit about, that's pretty much it. Okay, place of articulation, manner of articulation, and what are your lungs doing? Are you clicking? Are you exploding? Like that. So basic phonology overview. Um, I love phonology. Okay, next video is going to be on phonetics. All right, that's it.